in this video, we are going to walk through how to use the Microsoft Translator app on a Chromebook to translate your class discussions and presentations for your students. So first, you'll need to make sure you have the Microsoft Translator app loaded onto your Chromebook in the apps launcher on the lower left. If you don't have it, you can download it from the Play Store. And then once it's open, you have some options. So uh, the conversations option is what we'll focus on here in a moment, but you can type and have text translated for you. You can also click on the microphone for a quick verbal translation that would again only be visible on your Chromebook in this app. You can also access the camera to translate any printed material or anything in a photo. The conversations option is the one that has the icon that looks like two people talking to each other. You will need to allow it to talk to your microphone and your recordings and you can select while using this app. Then once you are into conversations, which again is great for group translation, you'll need to enter in your name when you click start conversation. So you'll click that start button, you'll need to enter your name. And uh, unfortunately, Microsoft Translator doesn't currently accept names um, with like Mr. and Mrs. at the beginning. So you'll need to type in your name and then your language is very important. This is the language that you are speaking in, not the language that you want to be translated to. So select your language, what you'll be speaking in, and then you have options to share the class or conversation code. You can click the share button and post it to Google Classroom. You can also um, project this so students can scan the QR code and you can copy that link or you can just write the code on the whiteboard for students to join. You can also copy and paste that link and push it out to students using GoGuardian Teacher. So now we are in our active conversation. And the first step that's very, very important is to click on those three dots in the upper right corner and turn on presenter mode. This will not time out your microphone if there's any lulls in the conversation. It is always listening, so it's really good for capturing all of what you are saying throughout your class. You can still turn the microphone on and off. It's green when it is recording what you're saying. So here we have a quick translation of how Microsoft Translator can be great for holding class discussions, sharing information with your students with a large group because students can choose their language. So it doesn't have to be uh, the most common language translated for everyone. They get to choose their own language, have it translated on their device, and they can even select to have it read aloud to them. So you will again want to make sure you have presenter mode turned on. And as you can see here through the translation there, it is automatic. So it's capturing what I'm saying. So you'll see there's a couple minor errors, but the general conversation will be able to be translated for students. When you're done, you can click the back button and click yes end. Students will be prompted. They can download the transcript to review. One option that you can choose is to change the mode, the view from phone mode to tablet mode or resizable because you will need to keep this window active and open. You can't minimize it or click off of it. Otherwise, it will not um, continue translating. So it does need to be an active app. So splitting your screen if you are using your Chromebook to work in Google Chrome or any other um, application, you can resize it and make it smaller or use the phone view and have that on one side of your screen and Google Chrome on the other. So you can split your screen, but again, it needs to be an active window. It's really a great idea to use your Chromebook as your listening device and your desktop computer for anything to project or work with students.